Okay. What are your plans now, Rover? Um, to get out of this cutscene. Like, dang, it's been like one after the other. If you increase your health bar, we're gonna have a problem, sir. Oh, brother! Bro! This game is so good! Bro, I was starting up Weathering Waves and for a second, for a split second, I thought it said the game was 406 gigs. I was about to be like, we are about to do a Genshin special instead. Like, ain't no way I'm downloading 400 gigs worth of a game. Oh my gosh. I am finally doing our 1K special. <laughs> I don't even know why I did a poll for you guys on what you guys wanted the 1K special to be. I knew it was gonna be Weathering Waves. Either that or people were gonna comment, Genshin, I want you to play Genshin. Please play more Genshin. Don't make me a Genshin only channel. I don't want that fate for myself. Of course, the 1K special that we're doing is basically Genshin, except it's like more, I guess, sci-fi. And I heard that it's better than Genshin in some aspects. Like I saw that there's like some quality of life stuff. There's more immersion, more realism. Like I heard something about the NPCs. They actually have their own routine throughout the day, which is like kind of crazy because in Genshin there's kind of routine, but it's pretty limited. So I really like that detail. I like when a game actually feels alive so that when you're outside of the game, it still feels like there's a real world that you're leaving behind. If you don't know, and this is like my first video that you're seeing of mine, this is my 1K special, as in 1,000 subscribers, which I just hit uh, a couple weeks ago, I think. This is my way of showing you guys how grateful I am to you guys. Cause, I mean, I say it like all the time, I think but I really am grateful for you guys. Y'all are all so nice, so kind to me, so patient and understanding. And I really appreciate that. And I really like that, you know, you guys, y'all like me, y'all talk to me too, whether you watch my Genshin stuff, Hades, Persona 5. And if you're like an OG, OG, but I mean OG as in when I was playing Gotham Knights, or uh, Amanda the Adventurer, or uh, Uncharted, even like before that, like when I was playing uh, like Oxenfree, I played uh, some indie games. Like if you came from like way back then, props to you, bro. Thank you for, for staying. Like the patience you have, thank you, appreciate it. But I love all you guys. All of you guys are just so amazing and just so awesome. And I'm making this video to show my appreciation for you guys and we're gonna be on our way to 100,000 someday. And I hope that you stay along for the ride for it because it's gonna be a great ride. If you end up liking the video, give it a like, share, subscribe for more. And yeah, intro is over. Even though the game, it's still downloading. So I usually I can talk for a while, but it's still downloading, it's like at, um, it's at 15 out of 18 gigs, so uh, it's it's getting there. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, just gotta wait for it to. Uh, just wait for it to. Yep, yeah, it's almost there. 16 out of 18. Um, so how's how's your day? My day's been pretty good. I just recorded Amanda the Adventurer. Yeah, I'm doing two videos today. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, yesterday was my birthday. It was pretty great. I bought like this huge stack of manga right here just a, just a huge stack of manga can't wait to read it most of it is a the apothecary diaries because uh, i really love that series it's got a chokehold on me <laughs> and then i got um i got blue box wait maybe i i can show y'all um so i got how i met my soulmate this is a haul video now um and so i got that and um also got this notebook because i want to learn japanese and it has grid paper on it like that so um got that it then has like a you know the mouse and the bird um uh, spirit away it's my favorite um uh, my favorite ghibli movie i don't i don't know how it's pronounced gif or jif it's gif i don't care i don't care you, you can start an argument in the comments i know i'm right i don't care if even the creator says it's jif it's gif 
Okay. And yeah, so I got I got this. I'm a, I'm an OG when it comes to this. Like when it first came out, like when it even had a physical copy, I was there, bro. I was there reading it. Um, yeah, I got uh, Yonor of the Dawn, volumes two, three, and four. So yeah, there's that. Um, then I got a uh, got Blue Box. This series is is really underrated. Um, I really love it. Y'all should give it a read. It's one of my favorite series right now. Then I got Apothecary Diaries, um, volumes. Four. I'm not gonna show all the volumes because it's a lot, but I got volumes four through ten. The covers for it is so pretty. I love the main character. She's like so unique. She's so creepy, but like I love it at the same time because it's like, girl, <laughs> like y'all just gotta read it. It's like she's so good. And I forgot the love interest name. What's his name? Jinshi? I love him too. He's great. Oh, it finished downloading. See? I told you I could talk for a minute. Um, and you can see me talk even more on my Twitch channel uh, at Brittany Bun. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Um, if you want more, um, you can ask. I, I might not do it, but okay. Update complete, please restart. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there we go. Um, my email address. Do not look at my freaking email address. You're asking me to do a lot. Um, America, you're gonna recommend it to me? <laughs> Please. Please select your appearance. Obviously I'm picking the girl. Please type in, oh, what should I name her? I don't know why Celestia was the first name that came to mind. I wanna give her a star themed name, just like Honkai Star Rail. I don't know, I'm thinking Celestia. Rover from afar, your name is. Period. Oh, let me get the cursor out the way. And it might look weird on like right now, but I can't get into settings yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. What's happening? <gasps> Who this? It's so pretty. Oh, Yuri moment. Um, assault? Well, okay, what? Did she just break up with me? It's kind of crazy. Like, not only did she break up with me, but she just exiled me to the real world? Oh my gosh, I didn't notice like her, like under her hair, it's white. Oh, I love that hairstyle. This is so beautiful. for junior patrollers lesson one cpr <laughs> uh, never did it on any living person though <laughs> just yeah sorry sorry you just woke up and here i am chatting up a storm <sighs> are you all right do you feel any discomfort you can skip cutscenes Already I love this, but we're not gonna skip it. You know, we just started, we're not gonna skip like an important cutscene. Oh wait, hold on. 
So she has a similar scar. You know what it looks like? It looks like um, audio clips when it's capturing the sound. And she has the same mark on her wrist. She might have one too. You can call me Chisha. And she's Yang Yang. Chisha and Yang Yang. Okay. Where am I? It's beautiful, but like, where are we? We are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire okay. doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or? Okay, our attire looks home? pretty similar, but okay. <laughs> Rover. So you don't know why you're here, where are you from, or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. Oh, so this is normal? The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. Okay, yeah, just throwing terms at me. Yeah, what do you mean? Explain. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Okay. Ugh, I knew it. Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? No, my name is Celestia. Yeah, you can call me that for now, I guess. What was the point of picking a name then? <laughs> we shouldn't stay here. If you don't Her have other plans, crazy. how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great. Let's go together. Oh, her her scar is on her forehead. Okay, so this must be like a normal thing where people well, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90% no, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand. And you have a gourd. A tacit mark. This is proof you're a resonator. Okay. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby. Hey, how about you guys yeah, shut up so I can do my commentary? Wait, thing. is there unlimited stamina? Plus, not many people are gonna. No way. Okay. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that like people, they have the, these marks that look like audio waves, and so I guess. It's just normal that people land here. You know, they break up with that, that woman and then they land here. Okay, now let me fix the, the graphics. There we go. The sacrifices I make so you guys have a full screen. You're welcome. Your soul three phase is determined by your union level. Oh, this is like adventure rank, right? Okay. Yes, I'm going to be comparing it to Genshin a lot. I mean, it's obvious that like this game was <laughs> most likely created because of Genshin. Um, just like added some elements that are different from it or improve some quality of life stuff. Like the fact that this is basically an unlimited, sh an unlimited sprint is crazy. Okay, so we are a resonator, right? And we have a gourd, but we're different. Because we're the main character, of course we're different. Let's go. Wait, does it like automatically pick up the items for you? Please tell me that's what it is. Perform attacks to gain or I love that you're doing this while I'm fighting. So you still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Whoa. I mean, of course she remembers how to fight. She's a warrior and a queen. A queen never forgets who she is. That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> She's like, What's wrong? 
Are you injured from the fight? Girl, do I look injured? You saw our sentinel in your memories? S the sentinel, okay. Sentinel, that yes, is such a cool the word. The one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Okay. Okay. Bro, she just answered your question. Okay. So in each, there are six cities, and in each city, they have their own sentinel. And this one takes the form of a dragon. So the other ones are probably different animals, too. What are the other sentinels look like? In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. Oh, okay. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. Oh, I like how she's like a little shy when she talks. Oh wait, my camera is covering. Bro, I never know where to put my freaking camera. I think right here, maybe. So there are other sentinels. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the Sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are Sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. Okay. I think I'm getting the lore. Is there a log? Dang, I wish there was a log thing. I saw myself standing face to face with it. You were standing face to face with our Sentinel? Yes. One can <laughs> hardly see our Sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. Mm. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. I love when games, when they have a main character, what who's like obviously the main character, if they're doing all these things that are only for special people. But I love that and like the characters reactions to it like how are you able to see our sentinel when only one person is allowed to get close to our sentinel like that like who are you I love that because it, it just like even though it's like kind of cliche I just love like the little hints it gives of how powerful the main character truly is and how special they are and what sets them apart from other characters which makes them the main character like shows reasons why this needs to be the main character rather than someone else whoa darn that must be an elite class <laughs> the voice acting it's kind of chisia might be in danger rover please wait can't can't you fight why can't why can't you do it hello where did she go Oh, hey! Is this the Abyss? Oh, crap! They're trying to kill me! Use R for resonance for liberation. Moment of resonance! Oh, she can talk! Okay, period! Oh, okay, big boy! Watch out! Okay, let's switch to Yang Yang. Okay, so she can't fight. Oh, look at these single digit! <laughs> okay. Swift and resolute. <sighs> Strike from the shadows. <sighs> she kind of has like Shang Ling's powers. Oh wait, am I parrying? Is that why it slows down like that? Man, I am a natural. Oh wait, does it like freeze? Swift and resolute. Oh, I love that. Wow, the combat is so good. No, I don't need to look at a tutorial. What do I look like? Some casual? Please. Wait, can I open these? Cherish every game. <laughs> Weathering ways. Thank you. I hate opening chests and you have to collect every little thing inside instead of it just giving it to you in one go. Bro, she jumps so high. When you're able to climb in a game, it makes me want to get so fit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would it be disrespectful to climb on the sentinel? Let's do it anyway. Ah, no! 
no fall damage? <laughs> I did like research before I played this game, like on like which five star to get, because I think you get like a free five star, which is crazy. And Genshin could never, would never, and have never done that ever. I was doing like research on, you know, what to expect from the game and what to do in the game and stuff. And honestly, it's kind of intimidating, but I'm like really excited because I love the feeling of playing a new game and just discovering like new lore and the world building and stuff. It's one of my favorite things, starting a game. Now finish a game, I, I just don't do that. If I feel like I'm close to the end game, I will not finish the game because I don't want it to end. It's so sad. I hate goodbyes, even though you, you can always like replay the game, but you can never get back that first experience of playing it or that first experience of finishing it. So I just I just don't finish games. But I'm trying to get out of that because at some point I'm going to have to be Ganon. I'm going to have to fight him. And I'm not even talking about Tears of the Kingdom. I'm talking about Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> would y'all like to see that on the channel? I would love to just play it from the very beginning. Breath of the Wild is like, that game is so freaking beautiful. And it was a cultural reset, I'm telling you. Just like Into the Spider-Verse, cultural reset. The way it just influenced future things. So it's like hard for me to talk today because my gum is swollen. She's important, huh? Wait, that's so funny. It's Baiji, but they're a healer like Baiju. <laughs> Um, for some reason, it's designed okay, they are talking are a lot, from ours. Uh, but for the some reason, when I'm like doing exploration and, and then there are characters talking right now like this, I can't focus. I, I just don't hear what they're saying. Huh. This game is like so pretty. Bro, it automatically collects. Thank you. The quality of life already is so good. It's so good. I love it. And I um, also love the um, the sound effects of when you pick stuff up. Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. And the animations for the cutscenes are like pretty smooth too. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides courage for, for the whole city. As soon as Besides, I get in their beds, strong we're gonna get attacked. I just know it. There's no way that this is the safest city in the, in the world. And then I get there first day, attacks bombs dropping out of the sky there's just no way it's going to be safe yeah those <laughs> right? barriers are about to get broken into today jinjo sits <laughs> between the desert highland and the norfolk barons it's a border city and a fortress it's very crucial to the safety of huanglong huh we've agreed to meet up with baijiu here where is she oh is she dead this is the center of the Atheric Sea. Okay, so it's like a storm. A tacit field? Right? Also, where are the hot guys? When did it show up? Wait, there's someone right there. It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. See, what did I say? As soon as so we get here, there's gonna be trouble. We looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the Etheric Sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? Hmm. The center of the tacit field. Someone is there. Yeah, I see someone standing there. Is that Sephiroth? Oh Isn't no. That Baija? Baija! Baija. Baija! We are too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. I don't know why. It sounds like she's being voiced by A. Lai because the way she pronounces Huang Long, Huang Long, she says it the exact same way every time. Freshly formed tacit fields go through a dormant period. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Okay. Hopefully we won't bump into tacit discourse as soon as we get there. Is there any chance that Baisha down there is bait? True. Who could have set the bait then? You? <laughs> young, young, uh, tacit discord? Some tacit discords can parrot human speech and behavior, Ooh. namely the whisperings. I doubt whether they can imitate a real person to this extent though. But what if they like lured her in with someone else's voice? Uh, 
Let's go down then. Right. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Yeah, let's, let's see what's going on. <laughs> Press space while in the air to glide. Yeah, I did that. I couldn't move the camera though. I love that they do it with one arm. That is so cold, bro. Oh, what do you sense? There's a disturbance in the forest. Right? Why did you come here by yourself? Bro, that's not her. Aisha, you know we. Uh. Uh? Hello? <sighs> you are all right, it seems. Oh. Yeah, she was super energetic, handled a super big TD, way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on her condition through the street. Oh, okay, cool. What's going on? <clears throat> Why did my voice shake like that? Is this a mind reading gathering? It isn't. Baija is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much. Since you've just regained consciousness. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. She's the only one not being affected. Oh, dang, bro. Oh, up in my face. See, I love it. This is why she's the main character. Let's go. The way the music just stopped for a second. Wait, can we still switch with her? Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, the way he's just walking. Stop, that is so creepy. When, when your opponent is, is he taunting me? No, no, we're not gonna be doing all that, sir. Wait, tap to lock the camera, hold. Oh. It has a lock on future. This is the best game. This is the best game ever. Crit damage is 150%? Wait, I can level her up. But I'm gonna hold off on it because I saw there's like, just like things you have to be mindful of when you level up characters, I think. Jumping this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Storm, hear the command. This guy's not putting up a fight at all. <laughs> kind of like, you gotta get in him right now. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Smoke too soon. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, now he's getting serious, huh? One more time. The hour is upon us. <sighs> One more time. Okay. If you increase your health bar, we're gonna have a problem, sir. When the weakness halo appears, press. Okay, you're just like adding new stuff. Tempest. 
Oh wait, we have counters. Yes! Swift is resolute. Yes! Bro! The game is so good! Shake the shapeless! Moment of resonance! This combat is so freaking good. Yang Yang, Rover. It's like it's not like Are just button right? smashing. You like hurt? you actually go like pay attention. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, she shook oh, her head anyway. Thank goodness, we could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine too. <laughs> She's like, I know no one asked, but like, I'm okay too, if anyone cares. Rover, what was that last move called? That looks as cool as Fiamma's killer move. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I'm gonna call her Chi Chi because like, I'm having a hard time pronouncing her name. An illusion left by the tacit discord. It's like his spirit oh, is like not passing this is on. An echo. Oh, an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? No. Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Huanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption okay. is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover! Why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Yeah, ours is different from oh, everyone else's. So it doesn't work. It says I'm level zero. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> no worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? Are you okay? We'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the city hall and the academy. Let's make our exit. Okay. Let's do it. Man, we really lucked out. We're just like hanging out with these baddies. Hello? Hello? What? What kind of power is that? Main Rover, character you, power. You've been playing the fool all along? I've never seen a resonance ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Wasn't it your resonance ability? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? That is the longest name ever. Um, yeah, I need a checkup. Let's <laughs> see what's going on up here. Baiji, 
Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. Oh, so that's what with happened. the okay. human body. I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the team's boundless power. And I named her Celestia. mortal form. They condense the primordial essence, creating Pangu, cleaving heaven and earth apart. They aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first emerged. Yeah, I love that the subtitles is not showing me what she's saying. Um, what does that mean? There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. Mm. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. Then they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. What if I am that person? Come on, that was eons ago. Us resonators do live a little longer, but we're still looking at about a hundred years or so. And the known history of Huang Long stretches back at least a thousand years. Well, maybe I'm a thousand years old. Did you ever think about that? You see how special I am? Not, that story happened a long time ago when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that rovers like the great, 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 great granny of us all? <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. I mean, you, you saw what she did. Rover. Hmm, this is interesting. I I really love the cutscenes. The cutscenes are so good. Like very well animated. Wait! The signal's back! This is a holographic message to all of Genjo from the city hall. The cutscenes are kind of last a long time, though. <gasps> she My is so pretty. And citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. Okay, I was I supposed to Jin say this. She is so pretty. As the moon so chasing pretty. festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility in our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication oh, of hers our is on warriors, her back. along with I still the can't find hers. of our citizens, Baijus. that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. The lashes are lashing. Despite White the eyelashes are so discords, pretty. We remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. She's like, can someone bring Celestia to my office, please? Holds utmost importance to me. The city of Jinjo what did I say? <laughs> and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Yeah, the cutscenes are like way too long. There are like so many happening back Why to back. Why do I get <laughs> this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Yep, that's me. Oh, there's a 
spelling error. It's still too, too um, still too early to tell. Yeah, I'm curious about this moon chasing festival. The moon chasing festival and the spring long festival are their liveliest times in Huang Long. They're two of our most famous traditional festivals. Ah, I can't Every wait to meet more characters. I love meeting new characters, bro. Ways. Especially the hot ones. City built on the borders, but it's no exception in that regard. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? Okay. What are your plans now, Rover? Um, to get out of this cutscene. Like, dang, it's been like one after the other. There's still a while before the festival break. The best part of it hasn't even started. If you're eagerly anticipating the festival atmosphere, okay. but if you can- I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the oh, statue yeah. of our sentinel. That's gonna be a very important moment. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, he was surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important friend! We've already entrusted Aww. our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> Anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll oh, treat hers you is on her specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. Yeah, I don't have anywhere else to go anyway. I mean, like, my, my girl just broke up with me and I landed here and now I'm be with you guys. Your well -being. Besides, Yang Yang's very worried about you. If you feel any discomfort along the way, please do let us know. Does Yang Yang got a crush on me? Because, like, that's the second time Chi Chi said that, um, she's, like, worried about me. Yes! I love the combat system. It's so good. So, what are we wishing? Yeah, I'm not gonna level anyone up until you guys give me advice in the comments. Oh, a skill tree. Oh, okay, these are like constellations, huh? And then this is um, a skill tree. Oh, these are like talents. Okay. Um, weapons? There's probably something with artifacts too. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. You know how they have the audio waves on their body? If you were in this world, where do you think your audio wave would be? I feel like mine would be like on my arm. And I think like the reason for that is because I wear my heart on my sleeve. And I feel like the waves have something to do with like your your soul in a way. Basically how in Steven Universe, their gems are in different spots. So like Pearl, hers is on her forehead. So she's like a thinker. And then Garnet, I think hers is Oh no no, Amethyst, hers is on her chest. Garnet is on her hand, so she fights, if I remember correctly. So I think mine would be on my sleeve, on my arm. Wait, is this just an innocent animal? Immune, oh, okay. This is probably an innocent animal that I'm just hurting for no reason. Bro, why is like the combat music like so good? Okay, let's absorb. I really love that the UI is like very much Genshin. So I don't have to like look stupid when I'm like mashing buttons. Wow, this area is so pretty. Oh, it reminds me of um, Chen Yu Vale or Shen Yu Vale. I love this music. It's very chill, like lo-fi. <laughs> love the vibes. Hey, man. The one time I want to talk to an NPC and it won't let me. Oh, it's like a viewpoint, okay. See, the reason why I keep comparing it to Genshin is like not only because it's similar, but also it's so I can understand the game better too. Wait, are you leading me somewhere? Oh, okay, those are like Seelies. Got it, what's this? Start challenge. Oh, the time trial things? Wait, what? Did I get the other one? Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Uh, wait, where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that it brings you to the starting point. Let's go. And I also love that when it does a time trial, it doesn't start the time. Like, while- you, you know what I mean? When it starts the time trial and it's like you got 50 seconds, but then it makes you stand there for like 5 seconds. And you're like, well, I can't start if you don't give me like time. 
How do I heal? Something you need? Yeah, I need some health, bro. Woo! <laughs> Almost got my butt. Okay, I think um, I'll end it when we meet the magistrate, the Jinshi. Okay, interesting. So are these beings, are they... Oh, he's twitching. Are they like artifacts in a way? Oh, it's like support. Oh, look at these little, little runs. Oh, they're so cute. Whiff waff, straight rat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this buy that. To our endeavor. If only they'd look closer. Speeding up. Would they see a poor boy? No, sorry. They find out there's so much more to me. Did you just give me guns? <laughs> okay, so we're packing now. Whoever, it's a Sonin's casket. Hmm, hang on to it. Okay. I Look, will. Jinjo City's just up ahead. Well, the... The architecture is interesting. Rover? Oh, we did it. Who's that? <laughs> there you are. Senora? No kidding. <laughs> My dearest. Seed of fate. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Why should we do? Shall we go grab a bite? We should visit a city hall. Yeah, let's I'm get my body check out. The anomalies of the gorges of spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many women. Uh -huh. I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience. Then yeah, I what guess about I'll me? take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. No, I want to go with yeah, her. No, and Joe and all. She can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. You guys done yet? Right? Like, it's like modern, traditional, and sci-fi at the same time. It's like so interesting. But this definitely is like Chinese architecture inspired but also cyberpunk new resonator oh let's go got a four star new trophy let's go so in this one do we have a brother or it's just like that's just like the person you choose to be and you're not like looking for anyone or what if he's like a brother we didn't even know we had oh yay Oh, uh, so are these like adventure rank rewards? Okay. Oh wait, I got something in the mail. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, currency, I was like... <laughs> Bro, dang, they gave us so much. About the waves, I cry out loud. Oh wait, <clears throat> above the waves, I cry out loud. Twisting worlds, the response is proud. And chance you and I shall meet. And shimmering waves our fate shall greet above the waves i cry out loud brilliant ripples answers found as promised you will draw near in radiant ways our paths appear okay bars oh wait another one above the waves i cry out loud brilliant ripples answers found with you my blade i shall ascend and shimmering waves our bond will bend i love poetry but i really can't get into poetry or else i will cry okay let's activate it mulan Girl, I am such a big fan! Hello, welcome to Jin uh, Jinsho, Jinsho City. Now I will introduce the usage of the Resonance Nexus. Why does it kind of look like her though? Okay, she's not gonna talk about how she saved all of China. Okay, I, I mean, we love a humble queen. You know, she's more than just being the savior of China. She's also 
A tour guide, I guess? Oh, this must be our resin. 240? Bro, get drinking never. I mean, they did turn it up to 200. I wish the, um, the colors were a bit brighter. Wait, what's this? You have something for me? I want some, oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Um, I'll come back later because I don't know what to get. Like, what What are these boxes? Like, what's that icon? Hi, Yang Yang. Are you in love with me? Perhaps the magistrate did not know who her guest was. I'm wondering why the magistrate wanted to meet her guest in person. She must have a reason for attracting all this attention. Um, she's not doing this to avoid confusion for her guests. She should have anticipated the follow-up of her public message. So how does she decide who is her guest and who is not? I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere a magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. What if I am not the person? What if I then am the person? Then that's exactly what we're after. We're on the right track then. Yield, what do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? What really matters is how I'll live my life and create new memories. That's an attitude I would love for her to have. In that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? We're not allowed to be waiting. That's right. We're yeah, not okay, going. Okay, yeah. Thanks, you guys. You're so supportive. Thank you. I'll be on my way then. Solaris 3, the third planet from the. Okay. It says it's 1728. Is that the real time? No, it's not. But wouldn't that be crazy? Well, actually, I don't think it's the real time. Please, follow me. Yes, ma'am. I'll just go ahead. All right, so you want me to watch you walk all the way to your desk? Ma'am, put the pep in your step. Come Can on. Have a seat. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sorry. That was my fault. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Thank you, ma'am. Hello? Well, you're not her. Hers is in her eye? That's crazy. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard Hua. of Madam Magistrate. Bodyguard? Dang! She got like a really nice fit for a bodyguard. Well, she looks like she needs to be on the runway. Um, call me Rover for now. I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is currently away. Then why did she Prior invite to me? Her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Bro, I hate that. Madam Magistrate advised you to It's like when Ning Wong invited us to the, cha the Jade Chamber, but didn't tell us how to get there. The well, that's because Ganyu, but sooner. still. The inconvenience of it all. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured, she will be here to meet you in three days' three time. Three days? What you want me to do in the meantime? Like, sleep in this chair? Where's the Magistrate? Why three days? Man, sure, okay. How were you certain I was the guest? Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. I heard many people were politely asked to leave. Regarding that. Mm -hmm. My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Mm. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. Okay. You, you share the same frequency <gasps> with Madame Magistrate. Oh my gosh. That must have been a crazy revelation. What, yeah, what does it look like? You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. Okay. As opposed to, yeah. Yeah. 
they all look different. For some reason, you can tell Sun Wa doesn't want to continue this topic. Okay. I like, I thought she forgot her line, <laughs> so that's why she wasn't talking. May I have your terminal for a moment? Uh, are we exchanging Indeed. contacts now? <laughs> it was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access on okay, the magistrate I'll give it to thought you. you might need it. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes the dialogue just the goes on for too long. On your terminal has been but I'm glad that the there's an option iteration. to skip it rather than just sitting now, through it. Have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? Um, I don't think if so. If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance here in the city hall. We got our own suite? Home sweet home, royal suite, here I come, that won't be necessary. I mean, if we can stay in City Hall, we got our own room, you know, our own bed. I mean, I don't mind. Imagine the room service we can have here. There's probably a rooftop pool, like a little casino. Bro, I would rather be here. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Black fruit, small device, sugar pool. What is that? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure y'all put a mitt on my pillow, please. And can you also, like, for my towels, can you, like, fold it into, like, you know, like, those kind of origami kind of things? Like, you don't really have to do that, and it doesn't affect how my bath will go, but it's just, like, presentation, you know what I mean? Y'all, the magistrate ain't even here, bro. We just wasted our time coming here. But they said I can have the royal suite, so I know we were gonna have a little sleepover, and I know you want me to sleep in your bed so bad. But I, I think I'm gonna kick it here. But you know, I appreciate you guys coming with me and all that, teaching me about this, your world and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Like, what's the meaning of hers so being on what her gifts? stomach? So, Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. The increasing tacit fields uncannily powerful tacit discords and now our magistrate's absence plus the mysterious rover i'm afraid Shinjo might be in danger that's what i'm saying as soon as we get here it's gonna be trouble well we've reported to the city hall the ministry of war and the academy we've done everything we can i mean this is one long and we're talking about Jinjo of all places We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Let's investigate the items. Um, that's a three-day vacation in my books. <laughs> I love choosing the dialogue option that is so me. Fair point? A three-day vacation it is. <gasps> Ooh, reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do with these token puzzles? Maybe she's looking for a soulmate. A soulmate? Hmm. Do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Take the candy. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar, but I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. Um, I don't know if I really care to look at each individual one. <sighs> That's so all. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the sugar pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Let's see who reaches there faster. A grapple. Oh, like an actual grapple. Oh and there you gosh. go. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. I, I just did. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju. Anyway, let's- What? You need something? Mortif- Mortify? Mortify? Oh, that's not good. The researcher with glasses seemed momentarily unsettled, the flames dimming as he averted his gaze. He attempted to conceal his surprise, but it was evident in his eyes. Did I startle you? Mr. Mortify, 
Please oh, pardon our intrusion. No, that's mortifying. We are friends of Baijiu, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Okay, I accidentally skipped it, so I Not don't know all. what he's talking it about. It was us who bothered you. Baijiu should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Me and Yang Yang, we're so polite. I need to, uh, I need to get my food. So one moment, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with my food and I want to eat and continue playing. So I'm going to eat off camera, but you will still hear my voice and maybe my chewing. So you get to have a video and ASMR. And we all know like the cutscenes are super long, so I'll have time to finish all my food. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the city hall? Yeah, your magistrate wasn't there, even though she invited me what do you in think? front of thousands of people. Um, let's begin. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? <laughs> I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. What if she has like some kind of like the things that they carry on their butts? Like what if she have that in her body? Does it have anything to do with my amnesia? Your test results don't indicate any trauma. So your amnesia may not be linked to traumatic events. Okay. As for your ability to absorb echoes, I can't make a connection between that and your amnesia based on the current data. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. Sounds like a cool terrarium idea. <laughs> Sounds like I have a little universe within me. Hmm okay it's like she has like some other entity within her that's able to absorb it but in the beginning of the game like the very very beginning the the girl the girl who broke up with us um was she the first person that they were talking about earlier the one to first absorb an echo is is she that is this like a when marnie was there situation where we thought it was a romantic thing but then it turns out they're actually family sounds like i have a little universe within me a universe that's a poetic and intriguing comparison. Yeah, I love that. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your no. body. No! It means simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please okay. fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Okay. One with the sounds. Whoa, what did I get that wolf? One more time. The sound. <laughs> Wait, wow, that's so funny. Your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the clownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. The end has come. <laughs> Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Ha! One with the sound. Keep it together. Synchronization. <clears throat> Yeah, it sets her out. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Let's go. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Oh, that's like you hear me? Hello? Oh. Okay. The comm line is dead. Try to leave. Something's Bro, look wrong. how distorted it is. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Oh, I'm talking. No, not a time loop. I'm 
back to the same spot again. And this moon. What is happening? What is happening? See, you could just never have Are a normal time. Tacit discords? Are you okay, queen? She, she's not terrible. She's not a bad person. She's just misunderstood. Leave mother. Oh my gosh. We're Come battling here. like a Kingdom Hearts Come boss. Here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake, Baiji. What happened I'm telling just you, now? She's in love with the me. connection was suddenly cut off. Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Oh, I was about to say, she forgot. Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. An enormous moon fading in and out of the sky. Mm. A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonoro Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonoro Spheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonoro Sphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I, I didn't listen to you a could word have she said. To... If you feel anything unusual, please come Thank you, find I will. Thank anything. you so much. Yes, finally! I'm gonna turn my camera off for this, even though I'm still eating. Tab convene to get reliable companions and handy weapons. Now, how does this work? All right, guys, we're gonna end it there. Sometimes when I play games, it's kind of like a hit or miss, you know? But when they hit, they hit, bro. I am so interested in the story, even though- There's a flower for you. Um, and thank you. It's the don't interrupt me ever again. I am so interested in the story, even though they do like a lot of info dumping, it's like, it's kind of like too much dialogue, too many cutscenes, especially since they're like back to back with no breaks in between. So far, I'm really interested in like what's going on. The lore seems interesting. I really like the environment. Um, I do prefer, you know, Genshin with their environments because it's like a, a lot more you. colorful. How many times are you going to say that, bro? But it's a lot more colorful in Genshin and this one is like more muted tones and stuff. But I really do love the quality of life aspects to it. And then um, the combat, the combat is so good, especially when you switch in between characters. The fact that you can walk on to targets and you can parry like that alone it just makes this game a 10 out of 10 because like the combat is just so fun oh so he's like a fashionista okay period <laughs> yeah i'm really enjoying the game so far if y'all want to see me play the game more y'all probably do because y'all love anything like this but if y'all want to see me play more you know hit the like button comment down below and um because i really do like it i would love to play more of this but anyway have have you guys played weather and ways how are you liking it are you gonna play it and which five star did you choose because i'm really hoping that i don't regret the five star that i chose i think i'm going to be doing some exploration by myself in the meantime i hope you have a wonderful day bye